what's going on guys, I'm back to another video, and this is Mika Denninga, I'm going to be showing you how to build the Hello Neighbor Act 3 house in Minecraft, this is part number 5, and um, I always mess up the intro because I'm way too used to the let's build, <laughs> but um, yeah, here it is, this is what we should have, um, I think we're going to get pretty close to finishing the exterior, and then I still gotta do the fence posts, and, um, also, the Thanksgiving stuff I don't think is happening anymore, which is fun. So, um, yeah, and now I just have a bunch of videos, and I don't know when to upload them. I'll probably upload, um, the Halloween stuff. Like, I'll probably, you'll probably have seen one by now. So, basically what I plan to do this episode is this entire section. I just realized I don't think I know how this goes so let me let me make sure I do know how this goes because um you know and then pretty simple and then here's also very simple all right sorry I just need to make sure I actually know what I'm doing because you know um I think basically after this Part, we're literally just gonna have the roofs the roofs and maybe this area and obviously and definitely this and the pipe and um, definitely the windmill the roof for this I think pretty much every single roof except for what we've already done and then pretty much it'll be final touch-ups and everything um, yeah also by the time you're seeing this, um, should be an announcement video coming out very soon. It'll probably be tomorrow, along with something else. I don't know. I'm recording all these at really weird times now, so I don't even know. The materials we need to start off are pillar quartz block, light blue concrete, dark oak fence, Spruce wood planks, birch door, that's not birch, yellow concrete, glass panes, and I'll end it off it there for now. Definitely have more to do, but, um, yeah. Alright, so see, we have this line of pillar courts right here. Going from front to back. Give me a sec. Alright, going from front to back, excluding this block because you can't see anything above it. So starting from this block, which is the one overhang. You want to place going backwards, eight light blue concrete. Six dark oak fence. Then you want to go right with seven dark oak fence. Three light blue concrete. Four with six. Then place a dark oak wood fence. Or sorry, backwards by six, actually. And then a dark oak fence. Then go right with six dark oak fence. Right? Wait. Yeah. Then place a light blue concrete. No, wait, no, don't. You're, I'm wrong. Do not place a light blue concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. Um, then go... Four words with five dark oak wood planks. And then you want to connect to there with light blue concrete, which should be nine. Good, because I was going to say, if it isn't, then we have a serious problem. And also on top of these three pillar quartz blocks, you can place light blue concrete. Bring up all the light blue concrete by three additional light blue concretes. Three just just light blue concrete, not concretes. Concretes is is concretes a word? Hmm. 
Oh, the, oh my gosh, nobody told me, I'm so sad, nobody told me the, um, the mistake that it was made. But I'm definitely gonna notice it if, um, if I get to that. I'm definitely gonna be able to find it. Alright. Just like this. Under all of this uh, that's kind of just floating, you want to place um, a row of pillar quartz blocks. Make sure that the corners are vertical ones. What else would you expect? <laughs> and then it should just connect to there. And um, you don't have to do anything there, I guess. You then want to place... Oops, I, what did I just do? Oh, I swear, flipped that upside down. Not that that matters. Basically, we have this red concrete wall. You're going to want to place... Give me a second. Because it was way, way... It was yesterday, I think. You want to place three rows of yellow concrete on top of this row of pillar quartz block. Is it three? It is. No, it's... No, it is three. Just like this. And then you can also connect this wall to it as well. So we're connecting a wall now. Just like this. Okay, I was checking that because that felt wrong to me. Oh, I don't know what to do. Actually, no, I do know what to do here, I think. Uh, you then want to place a row of sideways pillar quartz blocks on top of all that, making sure that it does go back to here. And then again, going across. Then you want to get a red concrete. And you're going to want to place a row of red concrete on top of the row of pillar quartz blocks. Then going around the horn again from this left area, this wall right here, going across. Technically it's on the right side. You're going to place a row of red concrete at the back here. Then moving forwards. Hello? Who's there? You wanna place four red concrete, a glass pan, the rest of the row wants to be red concrete. Is this window supposed to be boarded up? Hmm, I don't know. That's tough. Copy that row one more time. And then you want to place a row of red concrete on top, which should connect to the pillar quartz block section, this section, or this uh, light blue concrete section, if we did it correctly, which um, I did. Uh, if it's wrong, then um, good luck. <laughs> it's all I have, good luck, because could be so many things. Could be this section, could be this section, could be, it could be anywhere. Because the pro okay, that's the thing that I kind of should I kind of screwed up because I didn't take this in a logical way. I should have just gone around like layer by layer and just kept doing it that way. But no, I was stupid enough to actually do it randomly. So one little mistake in one spot can mess up the entire build. Like literally the first thing we pretty much did on the third floor. Like if that is off by a block, that could screw up the entire house. <laughs> So, you know, it's a little bit of, um, stress. And if you make a mistake, good good luck. That's all I have. Good luck. You then want to... Um, you want to basically take out your spruce wood planks, and at this level right here, where the below the door, you're going to want to fill in the entire air with spruce wood planks. Give me a second to, um... Do this thing. And then, yeah.
yeah. Um, making sure that the yeah, well, every gap gets filled in. And then we're gonna punch out some window holes, probably. Again, oh, that's what it was. Well, <laughs> I found it. It's just gonna be rough estimates more than anything. But, you actually want to extend this red concrete wall backwards, I believe. Let me double check that really quickly, because, um, I'm actually gonna go across, because that was so long ago when we figured, yeah, okay. <laughs> I can just see from here, like, oh yeah, that, that's how that's supposed to go. And then, um, I believe you should just leave this as an open gap. Let me check that as well, because I think that's what you're supposed to do. Well, that's how I have, and if it's wrong on my build, then son of a gun. If it's wrong on my build, then oopsies. So yeah, just like this. And then, you know, pretty much roughly... I'll say two blocks away from each other, you want to play... You want to break um, two one by 3s Facing pretty much vertically, I guess. Although it's against the ground, I just place glass in them. It does look kind of weird, but whatever. It is what it is, and then get rid of your glass, because we won't need it again for the entire rest of the build. Why did I say that so aggressively? Who knows? Alright, we're gonna work on these sections, and I think, um, at the end of the episode, last thing, or part, sorry, I, I gotta clarify that, parts. Um, we're gonna make the big yellow concrete section that sticks out, and then after that, or at least we're gonna build the left side of it. And then after that, I think we're gonna end the video. So, which side did I start with? That is a very good question. Looks like I started, yeah, I started with the inner side. So, this side right here. Actually, no, I ended with that, never mind. You want to, basically, um, from this left wall right here, you want to go right with two light blue concrete, birch door. Oh, it's going to face the right way. And then two light blue concrete. Place spruce planks under each door, by the way, that I tell you to place. And then build up the rest of the wall with light blue concrete. You're also going to want to do that, too. I'm probably not going to specify that. Again, make sure every door in this house is facing to the left. That probably looks really weird to most of you. It looks weird to me, but that's how it is in the game. And then fill in the um, little balcony area with the spruce wood planks. This area below, we're not going to deal with right now. I I was going to figure out the, how long that goes, but completely blanked on it, for, on remembering. So, um, next part, we're going to have to do this, and I'm going to have to remember, or else I'm screwed. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so with this wall right here, this wall 3. At the very inner block, you want to go forwards with two light blue concrete, birch door, and then three light blue concrete. Go um, towards the left side of the build with four light blue concrete, birch door. And then I believe it's another four light blue concrete, which is correct. And then again, build up the walls, and then fill in the floor with spruce. And then that's pretty much everything at this point and down finished. Although we have um, floor to do, and I think that... What is, th what is this? What is supposed to happen here? I actually have zero clue, but let's fill in this, and then I can see if I can figure it out without having to fly over, because I'm lazy. I think it should just be red concrete, however, don't quote me on that, so don't build that, because the chances of me being wrong are very, very high. Okay, it is just red concrete, so fill in this little gap here with red concrete, only above the pillar quartz, or on only go above the pillar quartz. I think we're going to have to extend left at the top, or right at the top, a little bit. But it's just this, the floor there, 
and then um roofs and stuff. Hey Siri, set a timer for 12 minutes and 19 seconds because I forgot to do that. Okay, your timer is set for 12 minutes. <clears throat> My voice is dying, but uh, I'm gonna not care because that sounds like a big brain move. No, thanks for reminding me. I didn't upload that. All right, come to the right side of the top of this, and before my voice dies, let's do this. So the um, third dark oak wood stair inwards, you want to break and replace it with a pillar quartz block. Bring that forwards by nine. And I'm going to make sure this is correct. This is 38. I want to make sure because I have 10 down as my number. However, I believe that should... Yeah, okay, I'm right. As usual, just kidding, I'm never right. And then, at the back, you want to, again, the third dark oak wood stair to the left, you want to break, and you want to place a pillar cords block, but you want to bring it back by ten this time. At the back here, you want to go right by eleven. Or, sorry, ten. So you have a turtle row of 11. And then make sure that your two corners that you have here are vertical. So the front and the back. And at the back, at the back you want to place a yellow concrete on top of the um, pillar quartz. And again, make sure that it does go through the ceiling. And then going front to back, you want to place two yellow concrete. Glass pane, rest row wants to be yellow concrete. That was going back to front. Copy that row one more time. And then you want to place a row of yellow concrete on top. Which should go across over the roof and it should connect up at the front. There are no pillar cords blocks going up at the corner again. <coughs> I'm okay. Oh, I didn't connect that perfectly. Awesome. That doesn't even matter. It also does not matter that I destroyed that block on the inside. Um, alright. Before I forget, I want to do this right now so I don't forget. You want to get out. You want to, okay, get rid of your red concrete and get out spruce wood fence and dark oak wood slabs. On either side of the window, you want to place two spruce fence. And then bring it up with three dark hook wood slabs, so a block and a half. Connect together at the top, two, and then bring this middle row outwards. Just like that. Just a little roof design. Um, at the back of the build, you want to place six rows of yellow concrete on top of the pillar courts. Three. So it should be two rows taller than the rest of the build. Or the rest of this section. Actually, technically, yeah, the rest of the build, except for this. It's a block and a half taller than that. Um, this is going to end up being really weird on this side. It's going to even out, but um, I don't know how that's going to work, so. You know. Alright, now what you want to do is you're going to want to... Get rid of your light blue concrete, dark oak fence, spruce planks, birch door, spruce fence, and dark oak wood slabs. And move your yellow concrete and glass panes to the front next to your pillar quartz block. And then get out brick block, light blue terracotta, and you actually still needed spruce wood planks, I lied. Um, alright, turn this end pillar quartz block into a vertical one, and then you want to bring it towards the side, so towards the right with five bricks. Bring that row of bricks downwards by two. And then you want to place a row of pillar quartz under it, make sure that either side is, um, a vertical one. 
Now, these three bricks here at the back, you want to connect upwards. Now, they should connect to the right three rows of this. If it does not, then check your maths. This should be a total of 11. Again, I messed up on that a little bit, but just like this. Bring this row of five bricks upwards by two. Oh, yeah, also get our dark wood stairs. And you want to place a row of dark oak wood stairs that is outwards diagonally from this. And it extends over the left by two and to the right, over the, or over the right side by two here, which is a side. And then it just wants to touch the yellow concrete there with one block. Sorry, it's only one on this side. It's only one and one and one basically. You then want to place a row of light blue terracotta inwards diagonally from that. That is five, so it should follow the bricks. Place a row on top of that. And then you want to place four on the uh, left, just like this. And then you want to place two on the on the left, from the, if you're looking at it from the front, on the right, if you're looking at it from the back. Let me double check this, because this, should, this might have to be seven. Yeah, so bring up your yellow concrete at the back by up by an additional row. Okay. You then want to bring this row of brick forwards a row, including the pillar cords block, but it wants to be horizontal this time. Only one row. Because what you want to do there from there is you want to place a um, pillar cords block for dang the right by one. Then it wants to go right by eight. Which is, let me double check that, because that's four. Yes, it is eight. And again, make sure that this one is a vertical one at the corner. Going from the far side, which is this side where there's pretty much nothing at all, going from right to left of the from the front side of it, you want to place um, four light blue terracotta, pillar quartz block, with a three block out, and then place a pillar quartz block. Cover that row two more times. And then going right to left, you want to place four light blue terracotta, and then five pillar quartz blocks. Then you want to place from the back side of our dark oak wood stairs that is upward diagonally from that and extends. So it is basically above the light, one light blue terracotta. Bring up the entire row of four light blue terracotta by two additional rows. Only the light blue terracotta. Ignore the pillar quartz now. And then going from the empty side to the full side. That's what I'm going to say now. So right to left from the front, left to right from the back. You want to place two, one light blue terracotta. Glass pane. Two light blue terracotta. Copy that row one more time. And then going left to right from the back side, so um open to full, you wanna place three light blue terracotta, and then two, and then one. So you should create a little steeple kind of thing. You then want to bring this entire wall here, this flat wall, this section, forward by 13 rows. So basically extend the pillar cords forward by 13 and then just place rows of light blue terracotta until you have the same height throughout this entire side. And then what you have on the back wants to be copied on the front. Front. For, for, front. The English is hard, okay? This is why you don't record videos at 8 o'clock, kids. Because <laughs> my goodness, is it not fun. Just like that. You should have a flat wall. Um, We're going to do the floaty thing later. That's going to kill me. You then want to bring this pillar cord to the front left by... Bye. 
Well, okay, you want to bring it left by 8 to start. And then what you have on the back, you want to copy on the front, basically. So just copy the train area, which should be 4 up and then 3 in the middle, just like that. So it should create a 3 by 3. And then the window pattern isn't really hard. It's just, there's two. it's 2 away from the top, and then it's 1 away from that wall. So basically just against the wall. I'm gonna make sure that's correct, 71. And again, don't forget to make it shorter because that's what I just did and it almost screwed me over. But aside from that... Um, I gotta check this number because I thought I was gonna have this built, but I don't have that built, so... One, two, three, four, five. All right. So you then want to bring the bottom block here of this little, this little train pathway left with left by five with pillar cords blocks, and make this end one um, vertical. And then you want to just place uh, four rows of light blue terracotta on top. You don't wanna, um, hmm. What do you wanna do? It's a good question. You do wanna bring this backwards and then, um, basically connect it with the brick section right here. This, um, you wanna connect it with this brick. <clears throat> and then, does that show me? Yes, and you want to bring this row of brick. Basically, you only really you only need two. You want to bring a four by one row, and then you want to place two rows of light blue terracotta for the rest of the row. If that's confusing, this is what it should look like. Also, make um this end block of light blue terracotta the pillar cords below it vertical, just like that. And I'd also bring all of the brick blocks up until they are. Pretty much a block below the light blue terracotta. Or, sorry, not light blue terracotta. Pillow quartz blocks. Just like this. Thanks for scaring me, as usual. Why do I always get scared by a stupid timer? Alright, so, at the front. Come back to the front. Oh no, sorry, go to the back of this. And at the far side, so this side, of the pillar cords blocks, you wanna bring it you wanna bring this down with three yellow concrete. Sorry, four yellow concrete, and then a pillar quartz block. Bring that forward until it's three blocks away from the front, so one, two, three, four, five. So it wants to come forward by 10. Then it wants to go left until it is up against the wall, so. So left by 9. And then you basically want to connect this into the brick. And then it does want to go through the brick. Actually, yeah, just like this. And again, make sure all the corners are vertical, pillar cords blocks. You get the drill. Oh yeah, you also need birch door again. Would you look at that? <laughs> at the you want to find the back left corner, which is this one. And then I want to place two yellow concrete, a birch door, and then the rest row, and the rest of the entire bottom layer here. You're going to place yellow concrete on top of the pillar quartz, and just like this. Bring all of that up by, th bring all the yellow concrete up with three rows of yellow concrete and bring the door up with two rows of yellow concrete. Or two blocks, I should say. I actually think we're gonna, um, basically we're not gonna add the windows, but we're gonna at least mark out this section. Thank you. 
one last thing though before we move on to this. Do I? I don't think so. See, we have this gap going around this um, yellow concrete section. It's like a little, it's pretty much two and three. It's three here, two at the front, and then there's one little gap over here. You want to fill all those gaps in Miss Bruce with planks at the floor level. Alright, come to the back here and we have this um, vertical pillar quartz block. See this one? You want to bring it forward with pillar quartz blocks until... And then you also want to bring this corner one right until they meet at a point. Or I guess a right angle. And then again, make sure this vertical one, or this corner one is vertical. One last thing before we're done. The entire floor of this section wants to be filled in with spruce wood planks. So where you have these dark oak wood stairs in the way and stuff, you want to destroy all of them so you have a full-on spruce wood plank floor. It also does not matter if you destroy the wall there because, well, you don't see it. Just like this. And then, I think this is going to take one more part, maybe two. So definitely a lot less than I was anticipating, which is very good. And I'll probably, sh and obviously I'll show a tour of the interior once it is finished, which will be a while. And then, um, I'll probably, like, I'm not gonna do an interior, I'm not gonna do a tutorial on the interior, unless you really want me to. Which, I don't know, we'll have to figure out, um, how the after I build the interior I'll make a decision because if it's not game accurate enough for my liking then I won't however if it is it will be up for debate but I uh, once you've done that ladies and gentlemen that's part five complete that one felt a little shorter which it probably was but <coughs> we still got a lot accomplished <coughs> but I uh, yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy this video <coughs> If my voice would live. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.